Since the introduction of the new home economics syllabus in 2004, students have been asked to analyse a table or pie chart in Part A of Section B on the exam paper. Students should note this is a compulsory question and can be worth anything from 18 to 24 marks, which works out at 4.5 to 6% of the overall grade. Unfortunately, there is no specific chapter in Home Economics textbooks which covers this type of question, so the best way to prepare is to go back over past exam papers and practice every table and pie chart from 2004 to 2013 inclusive. There are a few general guidelines which need to be adhered to when answering these types of questions. The following sample answer covers some of the key points required. Tabulate your answer for this question. Draw out the outline of the table on a rough worksheet of paper. First, highlight the two key terms in the question. There are two key terms every year. The two key terms in this question are comment and elaborate. These two terms are used for the headings for the vertical columns on the table. To work out how many horizontal rows are needed in the table, look at the histogram and there are four types of dairy foods mentioned. Therefore, the four horizontal columns will be milk, yogurt, cheese, cream and fats. When writing a comment on consumer consumption of each dairy product, always refer to the percentages in the table, pie or histogram. Give practical answers based on the information in front of you. For example, milk is the most popular dairy product consumed at 39%, making it twice as popular as cream and fats at 17%. Continue like this for the other listed products. When elaborating on each comment, give nutritional and practical reasons as to why milk is so popular, etc. Students need to use the information they have learned over a two-year period in home economics classes when answering these questions. Once you have a structured approach to your answer and have confidence in what you are writing is correct, students should do well in this area. Confidence can only be achieved by practicing all past exam questions from section B part A question 1. Use the approach used in the sample for each question and this will help maximise your marks. I wish you well in your exams.